Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. We have two havens that are being attacked so we've split the A team in two and they're going off exploring. In the meantime the B team is uh, on the way to a second site uh, having just rescued a couple of civilians. Well, I say civilians, bandits? So basically recruited them. Uh, coerce them into working for the Phoenix Project. As with every good rescue mission. Uh, unfortunately, Izzy is a little bit tired from the end of that, uh, but that's mostly because of the delirium we cleared off. Research complete. There we go. New Jericho Combat Training. Training facility improved by 50%. We don't use training facilities, um, but all the stuff that we're going through at the moment is stuff that I don't care about that much. We're not going to get immediate usefulness from it. Now maybe we could push some of these a little bit higher, but they're, they're going to come quickly enough anyway. It's all just a couple of hours each, so we may as well let them come as they come. This thing needs to go. It really does. Research complete. A new Winged Warfare Doctrine, Reinforced Bulkheads, Ravager Ramming Module, the Nunota's Mace, and the Oracle. Now, for a lot of the uh, uh, the manufacturing stuff on vehicles, Reinforced Bulkheads, 500 additional hit points. It's fine, but 500 hit points for me would never really be the deciding factor in a fight. Likewise, the Ravager, 200 damage for getting right in close and only a 65% accuracy. There is no reason ever to go for this ramming module. I can't see a reason why it exists. The base, on the other hand, 100 damage at a bit of range with 50% accuracy and a 10 second cooldown. Burst of seven, so it could do like 700 damage. The Ravager's got a burst of one. The base, 50% accuracy, so yeah, you're gonna hit like three and a half, 350 damage if you can get in close. Sure, fine. Seems like a, a smart plan, but the Ravager just does not make sense to me. No reason to spend time building it up. Hard Justice Exploration Site. Our operatives land near a cluster of burned out vehicles. There's been a fight here recently by any guess, perhaps in the last week or so. On the ground there were corpses that were tied up and left. These people were survivors, but on the losing side. They were left to die of starvation, lying in the dirt. Uh, yeah, search everything but take time to bury the dead. Burying the dead may be of only symbolic value, but we need to cling to any shreds of decency we have left as a species. New Jericho and Sinedrin like us a little bit more for that, and we got some materials and some tech. That's lovely. Also, after the uh, the recent uh, batches of salvaging and, uh, and missions, we have a big stock of stuff. I'm wondering if we could send the B team across to this, but well, they're not gonna make it in time. But in theory, we, we could have done. Uh, let's bring them back down south and we'll we'll do the points down here. It is going to take a little bit of time to get down, but at the same time, if anything gets launched from here, at least they're going to be in the area. All right, first of the Haven attacks. This is the Anu Haven, Haven Imar. Uh, it's only half the team plus Ruby, uh, but I'm sure they're going to be fine. Uh, we can, however, clear some of the delirium. So let's do some experimental treatment on Mario. Mario is sedated, not great. Let's do it on Isaac. Isaac's fine. Let's do it on Becky. All skills that cost will points cost one extra will point plus eight to strength. Feral. That's not good, but we're not really using skills much, so that could work 
Becky. Let's do bowl as well. Exactly the same. So, half of A team is the feral five finger discount. Okay, first things first. Let's get the frenzy on the team. We want to pick up defenders where we can. Hopefully that's a defender right there. But just in case it's not, let's send Becky in to go find out. It is not. So we're opening... Ooh, capture space available. There is a siren right there. Okay. We're going to try and capture the siren. Uh, we're going to kill this uh, this brute. I'm on the move. I've got a visual. Be right there. Uh, dashing actually cost us four because of... Uh, yeah, because of being feral. Definitely something to be aware of. Right. If we're going to capture the siren, we're going to need to hit it with as much paralysis as possible. Some of it's going to be obvious and easy. Some of it's not going to be obvious and easy. Let's get a boom blast over on this guy and maybe do some damage to the both of them together. It is damage to this, but I think it's worthwhile in in the context of what we're trying to do. Not the worst. Do that again. Okay, his head's been damaged. He does need still to be disarmed. We can do quick aims. Maybe take out his gun. Let's, uh, let's get a decoy out. Once we're done. Another quick aim shot. Because if we can hit the siren with enough uh, enough people at the same time. Alright. Confirming target. He's panicked, he's gonna die. Yeah, if we can hit the siren with um all the paralysis at the same time. That could be very useful for us. And we can possibly start whittling its resistance down as well. Give that a go. Right. Bowl, what are we going to do with you? We're going to move you into a place where you're likely to be able to do something. Up here, hopefully we don't get Psychic screamed out of existence. Becky, I don't want you to be stabbed. Come here for now and hope. So, we haven't uh, like taken stock of the area look for defenders uh, because we had immediate... Problems, but I'm sure Anu's going to be able to defend themselves. Please do not kill my capture target. Go 
Yeah, we're gonna have to bomb those guys, that's for certain. I have quite a lot of nasty ranged weapons. I mean, even just the, the R from machine gun is a, a dangerous, dangerous thing. I like this. Going for the mind control is a very interesting technique. We've only got 15 willpower. We can pop across and we can get a decent blast on you so that you won't have... 15 willpower left. We could also drop it down to 5 and then that would take it down to 0 and then you would run out and then Becky would come back. That's the other way we could do it. So which of the two choices do I like the most? Getting more viral damage on is probably the safer option. I don't know if it'll be enough of an option, but definitely the safer option. Right, mini jetpack control. We're gonna get in front of it. No, we're gonna get behind it. We're going to start the paralysis. With 19 viral damage on it, it will run out of will points, so we can start this paralysis going. Bowl, can we get you in a place where you can see it? Not really. Not really. And we don't want to do anything with Becky. So maybe I'll just start moving across for this assault and hope that this assault doesn't decide to shoot Becky. That's kind of where I'm feeling things going right now. Get to there. Mario, so sorry that you're tired, mate, but we're gonna have to do what we can with you. Looks dangerous. I'll bring you in there, and that'll do. The exalted guides my hand. Nice wallop, then a pistol shot. It's not going to be enough. You're going to die from that. Please don't shoot Becky. I'm fine with you doing that. That's great. We'll come grab you in a moment. Oh, cool. It bled out. Looks like there's going to be an Umbra there. I'm surprised that this thing hasn't... Oh, no. It panicked. Good. Which means that the mind control is broken on Becky. I didn't see the notification, so I was a little bit worried. Do not like that Triton hiding in the mist. It's a very Triton-y thing to do. <laughs> Looks like the Berserker may have lost a limb. Okay, keep the paralysis on. So in... The zap. The zap. Becky, welcome back. Bowl, come up, grab this one. Yeah. 
you have a very nice looking shotgun and the ability to quick aim. Now, whatever it is, it's a Triton. It's gone somewhere nearby. If we can, if we can figure out where it might be, might be there. Definitely there. Uh, we can do a follow-up shot on it. So we're kind of aiming for just to the side of the, the little crate bit about there. Hit something. Already there. Get back behind cover. Okay, Becky. Okay, we've got another target. Oh, he's miles away. On my way. Give it a zap. We'll use exertion to get two more zaps. And that's it done. So we've got four turns. We can hit it again next turn and maybe do something with it. But we don't need to worry about it. Right, let's get back behind cover. And pull a proper weapon out. Mario. I think I'm going to get you right in here. Next turn, we'll hop you up on the roof and maybe get a decoy out from that. Isaac, move you a teeny bit closer. Bowl, if we do a frenzy, that will help a little bit, but it won't help much. Move up to the edge for now. And Ruby, well, you definitely helped with this. You've, you've done a part. Ah, <laughs> oh, your limbs regenerate. may have recovered, but you're not moving. Ooh. I don't think this defender is really going to make it. They tried. So that means all the threats are coming for us. Ouch. Like that. Okay, so straight on in. Luckily, it was the defender that got hit. Uh, you can still electric kick him. Daze the target if the sonic value is greater than the target's will points. Ugh. Interesting. Not really done any sonic stuff before. It hasn't done... Ready. Any actual damage. Uh, you know what? Rather than killing him, pop up, get the willpower. Because that's going to be more useful. We'll do takedowns on him. Ooh, how much health has he got? 370, jeez. Alright, we won't do takedowns on him. We will do shotguns on him. Shotgun, then a takedown. That's much better, but there is still Arms online. definitely a threat nearby that we need to address. Repositioning. Uh, so we've got a little bit of time before we need to paralyze this one anymore. 
So I think that means we've got an opportunity for dropping some grenades and freeing up some visibility. Definitely hit something. There's a lot of bleeding going on. Let's drop another one over here on this guy. Got one of his arms. Is it the arm with the gun? It's not the arm with the gun. It's the other arm. That's fine. Oh, Mr. Anu. I feel bad about your arm, but there's not really much we can do. Uh, right, we're going to get Bowl going on Overwatch in case anything comes around this corner. And I think we'll move Ruby up to, like, here. Ready to do some psychic stuff next turn. And Becky! We could get Becky doing another bazap before moving on, but I think Becky's probably fine to start moving in and exploring this side. Tuck in here for now, I think. We might be able to capture something else while we're at it. We'll uh, we'll have to see how much damage they take. He died from his wounds. Which means it might be down to this guy. Hey! Do not appreciate you actually using your gun. Right, how much health have you got? 33. It might be possible to capture him. And I say might in like the biggest stretch of of idea. Uh, right, let's get Frenzy. Frenzy back. We'll dash in. And this is a, a real stretch. I can do this. Two hits. And hope he doesn't die. And he didn't die. Cool. Two captures. Ball got a level up. Well deserved. Ruby did all right in that. Very happy. And we got quite a few uh, resources from that. So, big ones. Siren and an Arthron. Uh, New Jericho disliked it a little bit, but everyone else liked it more. Uh, and we have a nest available. Uh, we can do the Arthron vivisection. We can't actually do the Siren vivisection, but I think we need to do the Siren autopsy first. So we'll push the Siren autopsy up so that that gets done. Uh, but more importantly, we have a nest that we can clear. So let's get that side of the A-team moving across to do it. Uh, before we actually go in though, Bowl has a level up. So get a bit of inspiration. Psychic Ward is a big thing and Kill Zone has the potential to be useful. We'll see how it goes, right? 30, 60, 70, 80 is what you need for the future. So we can afford to spend a few more points and just give you a little bit of extra support. Where is the uh, the other craft is there? So I think we, m we might hit the nest first. Yep, all right, let's do the nest quickly. Same team as before. All right, once again, we're gonna open up with the frenzy. Uh, let's have a look and see where we might be going. We've got fewer people on this, so we don't want to trigger bad things without planning for it. 
I've got something around this corner that would be um, yeah. nice to know what it is. Let's move Isaac up a little. Seeing a lot of eggs down the end. Okay, it's just an egg. Using Isaac to scout in because he's relatively slow and we can get other people to manoeuvre around. There's going to be one over here for certain. Let's just mouse over and look for it. Well, maybe not. There's something there, but I think that's... There. There is something there. Okay, that is our first target. There it is indeed. I can make a difference. Going in. Mario's only a little bit tired this time. So after we're done with this one, maybe up this direction would be the next. I don't think there's going to be anything down over here. So yeah, I think that's that's our plan. Check over here after we're done with our first direction. I can make a difference. Becky, you're not really going to be doing any any paralysis stuff. We're not expecting any captures. But I can still put you a little bit closer, actually, just in case. Uh, it feels like that might be too close. I'm assuming your stealth is what's allowed you to uh, to do this. What could you parapsychosis? You can parapsychosis these? That seems a bit weird. Uh, Ruby will bring you up to here. You can put extra shots on things even if they're not going to be particularly effective. And Bowl can see from here technically. So that'll be fine for next turn. Alright. I don't like it, but this is fine. Hello. Well, someone's going to get a clobbering. Oh dear. That marked us for death? Because of the retaliatory infection. Wow. Did not see that coming. Also, they started in a place which could have given them access to us on turn one. Right, Becky. We could do vampiric stuff to heal up. But we can also just clobber this guy. Adrenaline rush. Huh. Let's move around slightly. That gives us visibility on the second one of the Sentinels. Disappointing. I was hoping he would have enough in the tank. The move. Keep hitting. Just keep hitting. Right, this thing is going to hatch, so exertion. I'll keep going. Hit this as well. And that's it for the immediate things. Right. Blasting this at range. Let's let it fluff out as much as possible. I think that's the most fluffy it gets. There we go. 
one dead. Can we finish the other one off? Before this uh, this turn is up, that is the question. We can do an onslaught. So hypothetically, we can put Isaac here, and we could do a quick aim. At, we can actually just do a regular shot at this. Oh my god, that worked! Sneaked in! Blitzed it in two turns. I'm not sure if Ruby's deserved any experience for that, but uh, Isaac definitely did. Unfortunately, he's already maxed out. Nest cleared with very little fuss. It would appear that diplomatic relations between Sinedrian and the Phoenix Project are improving. This seems like a positive development to me, but I'm curious. Are you motivated by any kind of investment in our political and philosophical views, or are you just doing your job? Ah, uh, mm. We agree with Sinedrian. So you are a potential ally. Not merely fighting the Pandorans, but attempting to realize a specific vision of the future. I will admit that I had hoped for this. As a token of our appreciation, let me share some valuable data with you. Cool, we get a bit of research from that. The others don't like us as much, but we just gained a whole bunch of, uh, of reputation from having destroyed the nest. So that's all good. Unfortunately, we're not going to have time to do the other Haven defense uh, this uh, this episode. So that's going to have to wait until next time. Uh, I am going to want to, uh, let's just say, recombine the A-team. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get the five-finger discount moving down here. And uh, we'll figure out precisely where we're going to go uh, after the next Haven is all sorted. I did not realise there was another flyer. Right, we need to move the Battle Hawk and the Sweet Master across to deal with this. Um, but that is going to have to be next time. Siren Autopsy is done. That gives us new research available for the Siren Vivisection and also Shotgun Advancement. Interesting. We'll put both of those on the list and uh, we'll deal with them in the future. Let's have a very quick look in our containment before we go. Isn't she pretty? Yeah, I love the little little tentacle tail. Uh, and this guy, I'm pretty certain we took most of his limbs off, so he must have pretty strong regeneration to bring him back. It's a shame we can't rename them. I think that's uh, that's something I would like. I'd like to be able to name my pets. Uh, that is going to be it for this episode, I'm afraid. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have enjoyed it, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. See you soon.